Electrical system and charging system problems on vehicles can cause a whole host of issues. There's an easy test that we can do to check the condition of the alternator called the alternator ripple test. Let's walk through how to do that. All right, so this is a scope function, so we'll go inside guided component tests. And it's within the top level menus, which is our classes, so we'll go to classes. And it's under how to. And if we scroll down through all the classes, we see test tips down here at the bottom. First test there, you can see there's a host of tests in here, but the first one there, alternator ripple test. And it says to view alternator ripple with this tool, coupling AC is used. This subtracts the average value of a waveform and amplifies small variations in the waveform by blocking the DC portions of an input signal. This method is ideal for viewing alternator ripples. So this would be the ups and downs uh, between the diodes. So all we have to do is hook it up as instructed. So it says positive on the alternator and negative on battery negative. Or alternatively, we can go uh, alternator positive to battery positive, which is what we've done here. Uh, all we have to do is hit view meter. It will set it up for us and it'll show us what the ripple looks like. All right, a little bit of noise, but not a major issue here. Uh, you can see a uh, little bit doesn't look too bad. Looks pretty, pretty normal. Uh, humps that appear in the waveform represent the condition of the diode. So we see a known good pattern here on the top. And then if we go down to the bottom, you can see the most common failure are shorted or open diodes. And you can see the example there where the pattern would drop out. So as you can see, a quick, easy way to test the internals of the alternator.